Hi everyone and welcome back to another video. I am doing my own version of Vlogmas this year where I am releasing and posting a video each weekday up until Christmas. So this is today's video and I wanted to dive a little bit deeper into my planner. I did do a general flip which I will link below if you have missed that but I wanted to dive into my book section. So I get a lot, quite a lot of questions on my book section and I thought I would just dive in a little deeper so that you could see all about it. So my book section is in my little personal section that I have. Um, so it's in this section here. And it's kind of broken up into two parts. So we have a health section here, which has workouts, body me measurements, uh, fitness log, health logs, that kind of thing there. And then this is more wellness type stuff. So I have a bucket list. I have a memory sheet. Then I have my book stuff. I have a gratitude tracker, my habit trackers, and then a little journaling section as well. And this little part here is my book section. It isn't very thick. It could be a lot thicker. I am actually planning on starting a book journal for next year though. So these pages will be coming out and I will be transferring uh, my book section to Astology, I think. I think I'm going to use a basic Astology for that. And you'll have to let me know down below if you want me to do a little like setup video or something. I can definitely show you that when I get around to doing it. So into my book section. This little cover here is from Mama Plans on Paper on Instagram. And she very kindly sent me this. And I just think it's so cute says reading is my therapy and I just love it so I just printed that on paper and stuck it in here then I have this little sticker so my eldest daughter has two guinea pigs and I just thought it was super cute that this little guinea pig was reading a book so I put him there he's from Etsy I will try and leave him linked down below I do have another one as well so he is from the same shop as well so after that you just get this little card that's from May Paper Co that's seen better days it has uh, a little paperclip mark there and I just like adding stuff like this to personalize my planner a little bit so that's why that is there. The main part of my reading section is my reading log. So my goal this year was to read 100 books. And I have passed that now. I am almost at 200. So I nearly doubled it. Um, and these are all the books that I have read. This insert is from Creative Paper. I can never say that. Um, I will leave it linked down below, but I believe it is a uh, like a reading bundle and you get uh, book reviews and things as well. But I haven't printed any of those just because if I had reviews of every single book that I read in here, it would be a big stack of paper and I just don't have enough space in my rings. So I just thought if I had a little reading log in here, it would be lovely. So it's got the number of the book that I'm on, the title, the author, which honestly I don't think I've ever filled in. Nope. The day I started it and then the day I finished it. You can get variations of this where they have the star rating as well, which I think is really nice. But I already had this one, so I just carried on using it throughout the whole year. And I will just do a little flip here so that you can see all the books. I have read and then you can see here I am on 196 now so I will definitely pass 200 by the end of the year I still have a few more weeks left of reading then the next up I wanted to track how many pages I was reading a day it can vary quite a lot and this insert is from my minimal planner and I do really enjoy it the only thing I would say is that I like to know the exact number of pages. But because obviously this is only so big, so you can only have, um, you know, a little section here for your number. 
of pages how many you've read. So I just go up in 50s, uh, with the last one being 500. I don't really know why I put zero on there because one of my other goals was to read every single day and I have done that so far. So that line should never be filled in for me. But this is just every single day. I mark down with a little dot uh, how many pages I have read. And then I join them all up with a line. You can see that sometimes it's not that many. It will only be 50 or so pages. And then the most I did in October was around 450. But I do really like seeing that. This is November's. You can see for November, I never really read. Uh, the highest I read was kind of 350. So it was a little bit of a slower month in November. And then I do have one all set up for December as well. The next one is a yearly tracker. This is from Peanuts Planico and it's the yearly bundle, I believe. Uh, I think it's the one that can be used for any year. And it normally has a little flap here, but I just cut that off because I didn't need it. And I just do a little tick for every day that I have read this year. And you can see it's been every single day so far because that was one of my habits. So I wanted somewhere to track that. I also track journaling on the bag as well, but that's not going as well as reading. And that's it. It's just those three inserts that I use and then the dashboard. If you have any questions, let me know. And if not, I'll see you in my next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.